Panels or awnings? Hey guys, Eric Wanderboom here, currently at uh, Santan Solar in Phoenix, or outside of Phoenix, picking up some solar panels, but uh, they are the place to go if you want some cheap solar panels. Incredible deals, and actually coming up on the 14th of November here, they're having a huge sidewalk sale, and they've got all these panels of all these uh, 350s, 400, 270s, but these 250 watt panels, these ones here, especially with the snail tail, they call it, because they've got, they've got some kind of a little tiny imperfection in them. But even right now, at normal price, these guys are $45 for a 250-watt panel. And they're going to be $33 and like 75 cents or something on the 14th. So Santan Solar, Phoenix, get here if you want to load up on. They, he just told me they've got over 100,000 panels here of all different sizes and I mean, and the prices are freaking amazing. Bob Wells has talked about these guys on a couple of previous videos, and uh, Jamie Diamond used the, they got a ton of them last year for the van build in Parker again last uh, year. I'm picking up three of those 250 waters. Right now with the low sun in the sky, our, uh, we're, we're not getting enough with the flat panels on the roof, and I'll go into more detail about that here momentarily. But we're gonna have two 250s. Another one of these is for a friend of ours. We're getting three, three of them for 150 bucks. Yeah, guys, these ones are, uh, the, the 250 watt panels are 39 by about 65 inches. Our little uh, Subaru Forester, I thought I was gonna have to strap them to the roof, but look at that, they fit in there just perfect. So three panels and two, or four, uh, two to one Y connectors for $159 for everything crazy cheap guys let's show you what i'm gonna do with these incredible solar panels on the side of the van here as you can see there's our regular panels are up on the roof there and uh they're sitting flat on the roof i didn't set them or mount them so that i could tilt them and right now the sun is coming up way over here and coming across at a very low angle up in right about there now but it ends up going down way over there so what happens is they're basically almost none of it is touching our solar panels so yeah these panels are 39 inches by 65 inches long we've got two of them and so the two of them together is almost exactly covers these windows so all midday through the whole afternoon they'll be cranking out some major amount of power for us to keep our batteries nicely topped off for the night so um so I'm gonna be mounting them above the windows with some hinges and then having some supports down that'll lock it in place and, angle it, and then I can adjust the angle to uh, tilt them a little so bit. Simply installing them onto the panels. This is, these are the aluminum frame of the panels. The front edge, this is all involved in here. Backside has just got a, it's just extruded aluminum running around. So for now I'm gonna mount them this way and I'm just using the little self-tapping screws to attach them into the frame. And then I'm gonna use those same kind of screws to shoot right into the side of the rig up there. Okay, well that's with the tube mounted just right up flat. I'll show you what I did here. I just used some nice simple hinges. Like that, with some self, self drilling screws for now. And these actually have a pin that can be taken out. So I could pop the pin on both ends and just take them completely off, leave the, leave the other piece on there and then uh, when we transport them, we don't necessarily have to take them off like this. But uh, <clears throat> now I'm gonna rig it up so we can have them tilt like that, get just the right angle. So I simply used a little bit of L material for the brackets to connect it to the bus. I cut a short little bit there and used that in between or to attach to, and then just a simple bolt with a lock washer and a nut 
to connect the two pieces together in the middle, I used another just short section of the L material to hold the both panels together and works out real nice holding it together in some 30 mile an hour winds. So as you can see, a dramatic improvement in our output or to our batteries.